right, friends, I got another one, and let's see what this is. I don't know. I think this one's from Watch Game, which is okay, because I've gotten some really good watches from there. I don't know any idea what this is. This must be one of my own oh, by the nice. Okay. Grayton. Grayton. Okay. Let's see. How's this open? Fancy. There's a magnet. Okay. Interesting box. International warning card. All right. Oh. Look at that. All right. Let's watch this video. Far from the bustling alleyways of Basel World, we take you to a more intimate context where we meet the directors of the brand Grayton. A studious atmosphere for Austin, the chief designer in charge of offering a new face to the brand. Rémi Chabra, the big boss of Grayton, has meanwhile focused on a new business model for 2016. Grayton transformed between 2015 and 2016 into a brand that only uses automatic movements and has also decided to position itself online, notably through bloggers. We're no longer looking for a partnership with retailers. The market's evolving, consumers are evolving. Some have decided to shop traditionally, others wish to have a more personalized product, and we're trying to respond to that. Between today and the end of the year, three different programs will start. First, we'll open a personalization boutique, where each consumer or blogger can create their own custom watch. The second is we'll offer custom settings. We'll begin to make diamond, sapphire, ruby and emerald watches based on the desire of the consumer, with a team of designers that will design and make a piece that the consumer will enjoy. Finally, at the end of the year, we're moving away from skeleton movements. Movements that are not Swiss, but Japanese. Less expensive, yes, but just as reliable as a Swiss-made one. In any case, that is the position held by Grayton, who hopes one day to leave the big brands behind. All right. So hopefully you liked that video. Uh, I have to say, first thoughts, um, I, actually, I actually really like this watch. Um, this watch is, is quite nice. I, I wasn't sure at first because I looked at it and was like, oh, you know, is that quality or am I just kind of like imagining it, right? Because looked at it, you know, and at first it looked kind of cheap because there's, there's a lot of watches out there that look like this that are kind of cheap. I'm going to make the assumption that it's made in China, right? I'm not even going to assume it's made in the U.S., but um, that doesn't really matter to me in this case because... It's actually a really nice watch. Um, I love the face. It's a very nice color. It's got a Milanese, um, if I'm saying that right, I don't know, Milanesa, my favorite, one of my favorite dishes. <laughs> Sorry. But it's got the Milanese uh, uh, bracelet. Please correct me if I'm not saying it right. Um, I used to just call it the grain of rice, which, you know, they have for the, the Omegas. But, um, you know, normally when you get these, they just don't feel right because they're they're tweaked or something, but this is, it's its quite straight. So I'm actually very pleased. Um, gosh, it, it is it is very nice though. I mean, the face is textured, it's an automatic, and I will just go ahead and get right into the movement. It's an NH35A, which as you know, is a, the Japanese movement. It's a very decent movement, 25 joules. Uh, really, really is a fantastic movement. Um, I'd say what this movement's probably a, I mean, if I'm being honest, right? 25, 30, maybe $35 movement all day long. Um, it doesn't look like they put too much effort into it. This movement probably just looks like it was bought off the shelf and dropped in here. There's a little bit of uh, design work that looks like, um, oh, what is that called? Guilloche? I can't remember. Somebody told me that. Um, my buddy told me that's what it's called, but 
Uh, I think it's just machined there, but it's it's quite nice. You know, I it doesn't matter that it doesn't have like the name printed on there, all fancy. Um, still, still very very nice. Um, it is hundred meter water resistant, which is quite good. Um, and I'll put the chart up there. Um, you know, this this gosh, this really is a fantastic watch. I mean, I'm very impressed. I am very very impressed with this watch. I, I think this is a fantastic deal. Um, I do the Watch King uh, Black, which means I get a new watch every month, which is kind of um, wasteful, I suppose. But you know what? I get a new watch every month, and I get to play around with them. Um, sometimes I sell them. There's a bunch that I keep. Now, I've never heard of this brand before. Uh, I'm not displeased. I, I think it's very cool, and I really like this, and, and I'm going to enjoy this watch, and maybe I'll wear it for a year, and then I'll sell it. And, I'll get back pretty much what I what I paid. I mean, I think the total, and I put it up before, it's about $117 is what I pay. So I definitely got my money's worth. Um, this watch, it says the MSRP is $275. Um, yeah, okay, probably. This probably sells all day long for about, you know, no, Watch Gang probably gets these at discount because they buy them in bulk. And I'm okay with that because they pass on the savings. They make a little bit of money. If I was to go buy this on eBay, and I'll do a quick look and, and put some of them up here. These are probably, I don't know, $125, $150. Um, so I think my 117 shipped is, is actually quite good. And and I'm pretty happy. You know, they've they've done a good job picking watches that, that I like and that I've been pretty impressed with. Um, let's go ahead and <clears throat> start taking some measurements. Oh, and you know, it <clears throat> has a warranty. It comes with a cool box. I mean, I don't know if you keep those, but this is kind of neat too, travel case. I'm going to go ahead and start taking measurements. And it's got, it's got weight too, which I'm, I'm impressed with. All right. I'm going to say, <clears throat> yeah, let's just say 44. Um, I'm going to say it's 22, 22 maybe, 24, 22, lug, <coughs> excuse me, and I'm going to say 13, nice, yeah, about 13, actually, since we're talking about it, you can kind of see slightly dished crystal, <coughs> now, I don't see anywhere that it says that it's sapphire, they would certainly advertise it if it was, but it's definitely hard and mineral crystal, and it's beveled. And I actually really like that. I think it's very classy. All right, let's get some, some weight <clears throat> measurement here. I'm going to say 80. Let's see if I can. I'm sorry. I got to try and <clears throat> hook this so... Oh, more than that. Let's see. 136 and a half. It's not bad at all. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's see. I, you know what? I want to put this on because I want you guys to see what it looks like. I'm wearing my Spinnaker Hunley right now. Which is actually a very nice watch. Love this watch. <clears throat> It's actually sized pretty well for me already. <clears throat> very nice, very classy. I like that. <clears throat> this would go with a nice red shirt, burgundy shirt, something like that, or match your tie. Very nice. I really like this. <clears throat> and uh, I'll put a picture right up here so you can see the loom, because it does have loom. Probably not a whole lot, but we'll see. So, but I am very impressed, and Watch Gang did a good job on this one for me. Very, very, very pleased. This is fantastic. So, all right. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like this, please subscribe and leave any comments below. Let me know what you think. Thank you.